Have you ever done business with a room full of strangers? No, I'll change that. Have you ever done business with a room full of foreigners? You all decide to talk the same language, yet you don't understand a thing that's being said. You sit at the same table, but you might as well be sitting on opposite sides of the planet. Have you been there? I have. I don't know, maybe I'm being melodramatic. I mean, I work with these people. They're my colleagues. We work for the same company. So how did it happen? How did I get there? So that's it, and you're the one to head it up. Yeah, but why Rome? Why not? <laughs> Thank you for a very plausible reason, Darren. Oh, come on, you'll love it. It's very cosmopolitan, very creative, very... Um... Not London. <sighs> OK, listen, we're supposed to be a global company. Why? Because we've got offices in every continent. Local offices, Gavin, and I stress the word local. And some of them are completely autonomous, as you know. And do you know how we're perceived in the rest of the business? Yeah, I know. As a London accountancy firm with a bit of interest in other countries. I mean, hardly global, is it? And that's where morale comes in. We need to be sharing best practices across different cultures. And that's why we've decided to integrate and work as an international team. But why does it have to be based in Rome? It displays our global thinking. But, I mean, surely I could coordinate it from London. Oh, come on, Gavin. A chance to head an international team? Think of the challenge. I'm thinking of the headaches. Now, you're asking yourself, what is morel? To put it simply, morel is a mushroom, a rare mushroom, highly valued by the finest chefs on earth. To the outsourcing world, morel was to be a hugely sophisticated accountancy software package, a program with no equal. Accurate, efficient accounting, completely scandal-free, because with morel, it's impossible to cheat, or as we say, cook the books. Maybe. That's why we named it after a food. So, there I was, on the first of my many bi-monthly excursions to Rome. Darren's idea of a cosmopolitan, creative place. Right, good morning and welcome to the Morel International team. Now, as you know, uh, Morel is a big step for the company. And I'm quite sure that it's going to revolutionise the accountancy world. So that's why we're all here, as a team. We have the enviable task of getting it up and running throughout the company by the end of the year. Now, you've each been chosen because of your expertise. And I think perhaps we should start by uh, introducing ourselves. Um, I assume you all know who I am, Gavin Hales. And for lack of a better person, I've been chosen to head up this project. Ava? Gavin? Did you want to ask me something? Uh, no, I was just wondering. Yeah, wondering what? Who else did they want to choose? Uh, I don't understand. The better person? Oh, lack of a better... Oh, I see, yeah. <laughs> yes, that's, that's very funny. Yeah. No, no, actually, um, <clears throat> I've been involved with the project since its inception. You know, authoring, testing, bug ironing, retesting, and now finally rolling it out globally. And I want Morel to be a market leader within a year. So that's what I'm here for. OK, I'm used to being the first to jump in. I'm the oldest of five kids. So. Anyway, Jesse King from Chicago. Uh, this is my first time in Europe, which I absolutely love. And uh, guess what? It's so not Chicago. So anyway. Uh, I really wanted to be a part of the international aspect of the business, so I convinced the powers that be I was the one with the most international experience. Because of my um, working with the Toronto office, I was team leader. So, anyway. Pronto? Ah, ingegnere, sì, mi dica, mi dica. Dovrebbe trovare. Tutto sul mio terminal, file Alberto 36, eh, dovrebbe essere tutto lì, insomma. Sono qui con gli amici di Morel, sì, abbiamo iniziato un po' il discorso. Eh, ah, I will tell him, eh, glielo dirò, la ringrazio, eh. Arrivederci, buongiorno. Uh, sorry, please, please continue. Ok, sorry, well, done. 
Uh, Jack, how about you? I am Jack Zhu. Shanghai office is very pleased to take part in the project. My boss, Mr. Wu, sends his greetings to Mr. Gavin and the rest of the team. I look forward to taking as much information back to my colleagues so that morale will be a great success. That was uh, Mr. Gardini on the phone, my boss. He sends his warmest regards and uh, hopes uh, all the success for the project. Thank you. Thanks. <coughs> okay, uh, Eva. Dr. Eva Schmidt. I'm uh, responsible for IT communications in the Berlin office. I'm a market researcher and um, an internal communications specialist. I'm interested in seeing the schedule for introduction procedures for implementation, and I'm particularly interested to see how the work will flow between our different centers. Sanji? We're completing a totally new computer facility outside Delhi. It's very impressive. As you know, we've been outsourcing for some time now. We're capable of handling many accounts across many countries. Morel is a big opportunity for us. Mohammed? I am Mohammed Hussein. Assistant Managing Director, Cairo. You know, in Egypt, the abacus is still very much used by some people. Like shopkeepers, they are very quick with it. Mm. Some of these people are even faster than someone using a computer. <laughs> it remains to be seen how morale is accepted. And lastly, Alberto, who is in many ways our host. Thank you, Gavin. I am uh, very pleased that uh, Roma was chosen for the base of uh, this project uh, because, you know, it's such a um, uh, cosmopolitan city and I think it's perfect, uh, perhaps, to reflect the new thinking uh, for Morel. Now, uh, Mr. Gardini, my boss, wishes to commit all the facilities of the Roma office to the team, so they are at your complete disposal. And uh, personally, I hope you're all going to enjoy Roma, yes? And uh, if I uh, can do anything to make your stay more enjoyable, please tell me and I'll do it. So, down to business. Uh, we've got a lot to cover and uh, as soon as my laptop arrives from the hotel... Uh, uh, excuse me, Gavin. Um, can I suggest uh, some uh, coffee while we wait? Everybody? Um, yeah, yeah, okay. Yes. Excellent, Thanks. good. Uh, please come this way. Um, yeah, well, well perhaps we could just grab a cup, bring it back. Bring it back? Mm -hmm. No, no, bring it back. Come on, let's, uh, let's go next door. Mm -hmm. OK. Huh? Any chance for tea? Yeah, I was hoping that kind of introducing ourselves would break the ice. He's so British, he doesn't even take himself seriously. He may have a sense of humour, but I'm not too sure he has a sense of direction. People don't seem to open up to him. People just uh, don't go to him. Why? Um... I think it's because he doesn't go to them. You should be in a meeting with Alberto. I mean, it's like, what meeting? It's more like the Roma Social Club, and it's all coming through his mobile. Very different way to do business. <laughs> I have much to learn. But already I have um, concerns. How do I get Gavin and my boss, Mr. Wu, uh, together? He must understand our situation and win Mr. Wu's support. Relationships take time. I don't see how it could, could work being thrown together like that. I mean, we work for the same company. Why do we need all this dancing around each other? Oh, well, back to the grindstone. Getting back to work. He wants us to start working. Gavin, I have two items to be placed on the. What's Tagesordnung in English? Agenda, yes. I have two items to be placed on the agenda for this meeting. The agenda? Yes, I thought you were writing it down for us. No, no, I'm writing out the objectives for the Morel launch, what I want us to achieve with it. Oh, I see. Um, but that is at the end. I don't understand. G Gavin is writing down what we will achieve in the end. Well, of course. I mean, you need to know where you're going before you can set out. But if we don't know what route we are taking, you know, a, a clear method of how we will work together, step by step. So right. We'll get there in the end. Trust me. I guess different managers have different ways of doing things. Good. 
Great. Uh, if you want to take your jackets off, you know, it's uh, pretty warm. Thank you. And uh, perhaps it would be a good idea to turn off our mobile phones, just to help us uh, concentrate. Good. Now, as you can see, I've set out the objectives for the Morel launch. Uh, to have it fully operational by November the 1st, to have our existing clients transferred to the new system, and to initiate an aggressive marketing drive to sell Morel to the multinationals. Now, you've all been chosen because of your expertise in certain areas. So I'd like to discuss that now, so I can allocate tasks. Um, ingegnere, pronto, sì, uh, mi dica. Um, sì, sì, d'accordo. Um, now, um, Jessie was brought in because she has a good understanding of the multinationals' cross-border accounting requirements. Her information will be invaluable in evaluating Morel's potential, especially in light of the marketing. Uh, uh, sorry, Gavin. Um, are we to concentrate on Morel as a product or as a service uh, to our customer? Hmm? Perhaps this is a point of discussion that should be brought up at a later time. What is wrong with now? Well, it's not logical nor useful. Well, it is useful to me because I need to know. And it's also logical because I'm going to be in charge of the marketing, so... Yeah, which was exactly my point. I mean, Alberto is to head up the marketing. Uh, actually, I think we need to communicate the phenomenal potential of Morel's capabilities. D did you know that the average laptop computer is more powerful than the combined computer force that put Neil Armstrong on the moon? Fine, uh, Jesse, thank you, but... Uh, does that mean we are putting the emphasis on Morel as a product or as a service? Well, uh, both, I, mean, I would think. <laughs> no, a product, a service. I mean, we must be uh, clear what we're going to focus our attention on, you know? You must uh, consider the, uh, the potential for Morel and the impact it will have on our customers. You know, we have to form their expectation first and then... Well, anyway, it's all very clear to me, so uh, what are we to focus on? Couldn't we finish talking about our area of expertise before we focus on anything in detail? I think it's a bad idea to jump from one area to another. We won't achieve anything. Perhaps we should vote on it. Fine. It's, uh, with me, it's fine. Uh, whatever you want. Vote. Look, can we just finish assigning the tasks? And that it was just the beginning. I was beginning to feel that I was pushing water uphill. I mean, it was easy getting Morel to this stage. Everyone on my team in England was singing from the same song sheet. But here you got rock, you got jazz, you got classical. Everyone's brought their own music to the party. I think he didn't like me taking uh, the calls uh, during the meeting, I, I know. But uh, I have to be contactable by my boss any time. You know, no excuse, none. He says, trust me, but I don't know. They say, vote on it. But how can you vote against your superiors? He said he wants everything operational by 1st November. <laughs> Perhaps. Who knows what could happen? Many things in life are out of our hands. <laughs> and uh, the cherry on the cake is that he is having breakfast delivered to uh, the meeting room tomorrow. I mean, I don't know, but is that uh, some kind of uh, British uh, word?